right, all right, all right. Good day, little boys and girls. It's time to learn once again with Teacher Ting. Today's lesson is about reading time. And when we read time, we have to use a clock or a watch. Yes. And before we continue, I want to tell you some important things about the clock or the watch. The first thing that you have to remember is the numbers. How many numbers in a clock or in a watch? Yes, there are 12. Can you count with me? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah, there are 12 numbers in a clock or in a watch. Another thing that you have to remember is the hands. How many hands? Yes, a clock or a watch has two hands. There's the short hand and there's the long hand. Right, you have to remember those things because when we read time, we will take note of those two things, the number and the hands of the clock or the watch. All right? Now the question is how to read time. To read time, you have to look at the hands of the clock or the watch. First, you have to look at the short hand. To what number it is pointing. If it is pointing to 1, to 2, or to, to 3, and so on. The second thing that you have to look is the long hand. And each number in the clock you have to count by 5. For example, 1 is equal to 5, 2 is 10, 3 is 15, 4 is 20, 5 is 25, 6 is 30, 7 is 35, 8 is 40, 9 is 45, 10 is 50, 11 is 55 and 12 is 60. If the long hand is pointing to 12, we don't read it as 60. We say o'clock. For example, look at this picture. What time is it? Yes, it's 1 o'clock. The short hand is pointing to number 1, so it's 1. And the long hand is pointing to 12, and so we say o'clock. So when we read it, it's 1 o'clock. Now look at this picture. What time is it? It's 1.15. The short hand is pointing to 1. And the long hand is pointing to number 3. And if you count by 5, 5, 10, 15. So it's 1, 15. Now look at this picture. It's 1, 30. The short hand is halfway or in the middle of 1 and 2. So it's still 1. And the long hand is pointing to number 6. So it's 1.30. Now look at this picture. Where is the short hand? Where is the long hand? The short hand is nearer to number 2, but it's not yet number 2, so it's still 1. And the long hand is pointing to number 9, so it's 45. When we read it, it's 1.30. 45. How about this? What time is it? The short hand is pointing to number 2 
and the long hand is pointing to number 12. So when you read it, it's 2 o'clock. Alright? Now let's practice how to read time. All you have to do is look at the clock in the picture and tell the time. Look at this. What time is it? Yes, it's 3 o'clock. How about this one? What time is it? Very good. It's 4.30. Now look at this. What time is it? It's 6.15. Okay, let's continue. Look at this one. What time is it? Correct. It's 4.45. How about this? Good job. It's 10.30. Now, how to read this one? Yeah, it's 7 o'clock. You are very good. All right, we are done with our lesson. I hope that you learned how to read time. But if you want to learn more about this, you can look at your book, Everybody Up, pages 58 and 59. Thank you very much for watching and learning with Teacher Ching. Bye!